Big West action for you tonight. CSUN 5-17 overall, 3-8 and eight in the Big West, hosting the University of Hawaii, 15-6 and six overall, 8-2 and two in the Big West, sitting two matches out of first place. Alongside Ryan Mason, I'm Darren Preston. Thanks for joining us on ESPN+. Plus. And one thing is for sure, Ryan, the Matadors need a very similar effort than what we saw last night. Two strong hitters going, best we've seen them all year. Going to need something similar tonight against a very solid team. Right. You know, two career highs for both Perry Starkey and uh, for Leah, um, sorry, Leah Miller in career high kills. You know, they're definitely need a strong performance tonight if they're going to want to compete with this very talented Hawaii team. You know, a Hawaii team that has come in a little shaky with some performances throughout the year, but have a very strong team, ranking pretty high in the uh, RPI at 58 today. Amber Igedi, a senior middle for the Rainbow Wahine, an All-American reigning Big West Player of the Year, a four-time Big West Offensive Player of the Week. Just a big-time player for them in the middle. 3.75 kills per set. They run her a lot. They, uh, she hits 398, 1.14 blocks per set, and just destroyed CSUN the first time around a month ago in Honolulu, a very quick match. It took only 78 minutes to sweep, and uh, she went 13 for 18 without an error that night. That's number three we'll look out for tonight, Amber IGD. Meanwhile, for CSUN, two strong hitters last night. Perry Starkey and Leah Miller at opposite. Miller, a career night, 21 kills at 450 in the four-set win over the Roadrunners. And then Perry Starkey, 17 kills at 424, also a career night for Perry. And she pulled up 18 digs for her seventh career double-double. Yeah, another massive night for Perry. You know, for season to win this ball game night, Carissa also has to have a massive, massive night, that triple-double queen. She's got to have a, you know, very important night for CSUN. All right, first server of the night in the black libero jersey for the Matadors, left to right. Kelsey Knudsen does her short serve, left side, Hawaii on one knee, paid census. Starkey inside of 10. Ball dug up nicely in the back row by Riley Wagner. We'll get to the starting lineups from both sides in a moment. Right side, Miller. That's dug in the back by Wagner again. Over the wall, this is a long first point here. Barron pop it up. Miller again. I think three digs already for Riley Wagner. Cross court reaching out. Wow, Paige Census. There's Starkey, that's popped up. Out on the left. That is Gershing, can't get it down. Starkey inside of 10, boy, that's out. You may not have a longer point all night. It ends in a hitting error by Starkey and Hawaii strikes first. Let's go through the starting lineup for the Rainbow Ahine. In the middle, Amber Igedi, the All-American senior middle out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, teaming up with Kennedy Evans, 6'2", 5th year senior out of Twin Falls, Idaho. Kate Lang is their setter, junior from Keller, Texas. Riley Wagner on the outside, a senior from Dublin, Ohio. Out on the left as well is Paula Gershing. Ball tipped by Tatiana Turgeon. Out on the right side, Gershing, and Knudsen can't keep that in play. First two to Hawaii. Kaylin Alexander is their starting opposite, six foot sophomore from Georgia. Robin Amo, seventh year head coach. Kaleo Baxter, familiar face, associate head coach for Hawaii, seventh year, a 2011 graduate of CSUN. Ball served by Ikanaga, their libero, and the Matadors finally on the board. Two to one for the Matadors. Tatiana Turgeon getting a start in the middle. Uh, Kaya Kanan going back to serve. Of course, the other part of the 6-2 offense is Carissa Barron. And then the two hitters who were very strong last night, Perry Starkey on the outside with Leah Miller. Paige Sensis, the starting defensive specialist. Kate Lang run the middle to Amber Igedi. And she scores as, uh, you know, number three out there in green and white. Extremely difficult to stop. Very physical attacker. She's great with her timing. Gets up, has all the shots, can hit both ways. Season's got to do a better job serving to get her out of the offense tonight. Alexander back to serve for UH. Kaya Cannon in the middle of the court. Left side Barrett high off the wall, and it stays on that UH side. So a left side kill, and the Matadors within one. Two for their first eight swinging. Hawaii two for its first seven. Season's going to need to stay aggressive at the net, need to swing a lot more, and then go to tipping late. 
This is Hawaii's first match on their road trip here. They'll be at Cal State Bakersfield tomorrow night. Left side swing, that is Gershing. It's gonna be a kill and we mentioned a moment ago, this was the ugliest match of the year for the Matadors. First time around back on the 24th of September. Set scores of 13, 14, and 12. Match that lasted just 78 minutes, and the Matadors hitting negatively. And again, it's going to have to take a very similar effort to what we saw last night to try to pull off an upset. Carissa Barron cross court out on the right side. Barron is two for two, just one kill shy of her 11th career triple-double last night. Like I mentioned, she's gonna need to hit all those stats again, and fill up the stat sheet if they, uh, they're gonna have a chance of winning this ball game tonight. Nico Thomas on the court, got two of her three career block solos last night against Cal State Bakersfield. Ball kind of drops there on IGD and it's still good enough because she's able to compensate. And just uh, off her fingertips, it drops in there, middle of the court. Hawaii 5, CSUN 3, just getting things started. Hope everyone's having a great Friday evening. On the court for Hawaii is Kennedy Evans. 6-2, middle transfer from the University of Utah. Amber IGD, Big West Player of the Year, serves Perry Starkey in the back. Left side swing, Taylor Hunter again hit negatively last night as she's still trying to adapt to that left side. It's a hard position to adapt to, especially when she's such a dynamic middle attacker. But she's been doing a good job when she stays aggressive. She's matched up on Kate Lang, who's arguably one of the best setters in the Big West, if not the best setter. So Taylor should have a good night attacking against her. Barron serving, Hawaii's up by one, passing this array for UH, and it's gonna result in a free ball given up. Matadors have it, cross court, Leah Miller gets it in there, coming off her career night of 21 kills at 450 in the Matador four set win. We are tied at five. You love to see that aggressive swing to the deep corner, picking up where she left off last night. Barron back to serve. Coming up to the back line, serves down the middle. Lang taken wide behind the antenna. Ball sent by Gershing straight away, might get a kill. and. Those are the kinds of points, if you're CSUN, you gotta win, right? Yeah, exactly. Right off the serve, and they had a bad pass, and weren't ready for it on the side. Exactly, to upset this team, they're gonna need to play clean volleyball like they did last night. Unfortunately, Perry didn't move her feet on that back row attack. You wanna have that one back if you're CSUN. Hawaii is five for their first errorless 10 swinging. is 364 right away, overpass there, and that'll be easily done for Riley Wagner, senior hitter out of Dublin, Ohio. And she knocks down her first kill after getting three digs on the very first point of the night. Wagner, two and a half kills a set. Hawaii hits 238 on the year. They give up 172. Backside, and that is Leah Miller. Picked up by Ikanaga out on the left. And a Matador block. They get Wagner. That is Nico Thomas along with Leah Miller. You know, Nico Thomas, not the most offensive middle on CSUN's team, but she is a massive block, so she needs to have a big time performance closing blocks to the pins and shutting down the Hawaii middles. Matador ace leader back to serve, Paige Sentis, the freshman D8, uh, DS with 33 aces on the season, had one last night. Ikanaga pass out to the right antenna, ball tip. They might get a kill out of it, not yet. Hawaii again, laying backside, Wagner one on one with Starkey. Denied, Wagner off balance, about a nine footer. That is dug up. Knudsen brings it back and Starkey down the middle inside of 10, miss it long. So another point the Matadors could have had and instead it's Hawaii by two. Chris has got to dig that ball a little bit better, bring that back to the center of the court. Doesn't need to be perfect, just need to be 10 feet off the net. Two other matches going on tonight in the Big West. Cal Poly and Cal State Fullerton and UC Santa Barbara is at UC Irvine. Gauchos unbeaten in the conference. Cross court, that is Miller who is dug. Right side swing, that is Paula Gershing who is dug up. Perry from 10. Wagner with her fourth dig in the middle. Ball tip, sent over on two by Nico Thomas to the back line. Overpass, Thomas, Ikanaga, great dig up top. Alexander nearly stuffed. Right side, one-on-one, -on -one. Perry Starkey gets the block solo against Paula Gershing. That was a great all-around effort, especially from Hawaii's libera there. That was an amazing dig off that play from Nico Thomas. I like to see Nico be aggressive there, and obviously Perry with the solo block. 
We're gonna, CSUN's going to need a lot of those if they're going to compete tonight. First block solo of the night for either team. A short serve by Newton. Hawaii runs the middle with Kennedy Evans. Can't get it down. Starkey, about a 13-footer on one knee, popped up by Riley Wagner. Left pin, cross court, and this time Paula Gershing is successful. Junior hitter, missed quite a bit of time earlier this year from Germany, transfer from Youngstown State. That was a great inside out swing from Gershing there. Great setup with the block, just a better attack. Gershing, a 268 hitter on the year, about two and a quarter kills per set. 9 7 Hawaii, set one. Bear in the middle, and Turge in his roof. There's Amber Igedi. 1.14 blocks per set to lead the team. Does everything well around the court. Everything. 15 aces on the year. Hits well. 398. 285 kills to lead UH. Chris Abera now down three. Left side, Perry Starkey cross court. Kanaga with the dig. Out to the left. Ball hangs on the tape for Alexander. Trickles out of bounds. And CSUN is back with him too. Kaya Kanan returns. If CSUN can play clean and put the pressure on Hawaii to, to earn all these points, you know, CSUN is being a good spot. Hawaii does have the tendency to have a couple errors every once in a while, so CSUN should just keep the pressure on them. 10 to 8 is the score. Kaya Kanan out of the Palisades. And we'll get an ace off the hands of Gershing. Kaya Kanan with the service ace, just her seventh of the year. The Matadors with 126 as a team and that will be the first ace of the night for either team csun within one 10 to nine wise libero on the reception there swing by gershing cross courts out on the left perry starkey trickles in had been a slow start offensively for starkey unlike last night gets an important kill there to tie it at 10. Right, like you said, not, not as hot as she started last night, but the difference between those previous attacks was she was actually attacking the ball at 5 feet off the net instead of 13 to 10 feet off the net. So that was a great set from uh, Kaya there. First kill for Starkey on eight swings already. And we are level 10-10 here in set one. Three in a row for the Matadors with Kaya Kanan at the back line. All taken by Alexander. Run the middle, IGD and Kate Lang, that's a heck of an adjustment. It was almost an overpass, but nice athletic middle set by Lang. Yeah, it was a great get by Kate to get up there and you know, save that ball from before it went over on uh, CSUN's side of the net. If Tatiana's got to jump with her, she's got to touch that ball. Alexander down the middle to Knudsen. Kane and bump it up. Carissa Barron cross court. Ikanaga with the dig. Alexander keeps it alive. And a little free ball up top given by Ajidi, reverse. Right side, Starkey over the wall, flag is up. I don't think there's a touch, there is not. No and touch there. Yeah. Starkey now one for nine with three airs, 12 to 10 Hawaii. Kaya's gotta get her a little higher. Carey was just a little late with that quick set. Alexander on the serve, ball in play. Cannon out to the left pin for Carissa Barron. Ball kicked up by Lang. Keeps it alive. Wagner, that's too long. Well, I think she kicked that one up to keep was, it alive, yeah. That was a great save. She got waterfalled on that play. Kay Lang saved with her foot, and uh, thankfully Perry, who was paying attention, was able to solo Hawaii's outside to keep the ball on their side. 12-11 Hawaii. Starkey to serve. Some Hawaii fans in attendance tonight. Maybe not as much as we're normally used to seeing. Ball in play, scramble mode, UH managed to get it over. Starkey kept it alive, left side Hunter, nearly stuffed, nice cover, Knudsen. Barron, and a little wipe off shot. Two blockers up, Gershing and Igedi, very smart play. Very smart play to use the, use the swipe on that one. Love to see it. You know, if Taylor Hunter's gonna have a good day, we gotta get her a little tighter on that, on that one, but smart swing from Taylor Hunter as well. 12-12. Biggest deficit for CSUN was three. The Matadors have tied it again. Ball down the middle on her knees. Economic on the reception. Left side Gershing. Paula Gershing is six for 14 already with one error as Hawaii goes to 200. 
CSUN at 125. Speaking of which, the last 12 Hawaii opponents have been held under 200 hitting. And obviously they've won most of them, 13 to 12. Not a single Big West team has hit over 200 against the Rainbow Wahine this year, and that's including uh, UC Santa Barbara. So, And obviously Amber has a big part to do with that. She puts up a massive block, and she's able to close blocks very quickly. 13's on the board. Here's Layla Cedarland in to serve. Oh, that is well along. Hawaii back on top. And for CSUN, service error number one tonight. Each side with one. Turgeon and Cedarland sit. Nico Thomas on the court right now. And he's had a nice blocking week so far out there with Hunter and Starkey and Knudsen. Baron and Kaya Cannon playing together. Cannon, two ball. Got a couple of kills like that last night. Does not go down here. And that's Kennedy Evans. Right in the middle of the court, gets it to go, and that brings us to a stoppage on the court. It's a media timeout. Hawaii with back-to-back -back points to go up to 15-13 here in set one on ESPN+. Plus. Hitting 230. And game and Leah Miller back on. Carissa Barron back to serve. Ball taken sideline by Riley Wagner. Two ball, Kate Lang. It is going out of bounds. And it is 15 all. Back to back points from the Matadors. Very rare mistake on Kate Lang with that dump. Shout out to Kelsey on CSUN for being ready for that, falling all the way to the line. Crowd still filing in here at Premier America. Barron down the middle, taken by Alexander. Left side, Wagner, little tip, and dug by Carissa Barron. Inside of 10, Miller is dug. In the middle, run Kennedy Evans. That's going to be off a touch. Kennedy Evans, two for four, and Hawaii's back on top. Nice high swing there from Kennedy. Taylor Evans, or Taylor Hunter was actually mashed up with her on the middle, just didn't quite get all the way over to put that down. Kate Lang at the service line. 12 aces on the air, ball in play. Miller on the right, Ikanaga, right up. And Wagner out on the left, sends one. Good for a kill, and that is because violation against CSUN. Leah Miller was in the net on that one, unfortunately. 17 will serve 15. By the way, already this is the most amount of points CSUN has scored in a set this year against the UH. Did not reach 15 at all in Honolulu. Barron in the middle, Nico Thomas. That's a Hawaii point. Too many hits, never cleared. So 18-15 as Hawaii matches its biggest lead of three. Shout out to uh, CSUN baseball, CSUN men's volleyball, CSUN beach volleyball for showing up and showing out today. Obviously CSUN men's volleyball is behind Hawaii's bench dressed and all their Halloween costumes being very festive. Yep, and last time to see this team for a while, by the way. Three yes. weeks from tonight is our next home match. Be on the road for four straight. In the middle, Kennedy Evans off a touch and covered back Rose Starkey. Feed it out left, Hunter cross court. Alexander from the pin keeps it alive. Pop back over on three. Barron in the middle. Get it to Thomas, high off the wall. Covered back line, Gershing. UH on the move. And that's gonna go down from Evans third kill on six aerialist swings and right now Hawaii's middles are having its way biggest lead for Hawaii John Price calls his first time out Nineteen fifteen, Hawaii you know Nico Thomas there 
had a couple great touches in that in the middle of the uh, middle of that rally, but unfortunately she bailed out with the outside, got got caught Kessing and uh, left a wide open net for CC, or for Hawaii's middle. Rainbow Ahine hitting 250 to the Matadors now 0.69. Uh, CSUN with one ace. It was served by Kaya Kanan. No aces yet for Hawaii. And each side with an early block. I told you uh, UC Santa Barbara is on the road tonight at UC Irvine. The Anteaters are up 19-16 in the first. Cal Poly on the road at Cal State Fullerton. And whoa, the Titans, who are 0-10 in the Big West. They're up big in set one over the Mustangs, 19-10. Last night, Long Beach stayed in four at UC Riverside. And you and I were both shocked at that, how that match in Davis played out. Three quick ones for the visiting Tritons. Right, you know, shout out to San Diego going up there and taking two. Davis, I know Davis probably wants that one back. I know they're capable of playing much better ball. Now the Matadors, again, you got to get into the top six to get into the postseason Big West tournament. So they're going to have to come up with a couple of upsets in their final seven matches of the regular season. Perhaps on the road, got to probably steal one in Davis, maybe in La Jolla, a little tip, and that's going into the net from Miller, 20 to 15, and you're gonna absolutely have to get the final two here to even be in the conversation for the uh, top six if you want to climb Not the, the teams best. immediately above you. But yeah, sorry about that. Not the best set from Chris there. She's got a finish tighter for, for Leah. There's Lang on the serve, not Evans. That's Lang in the middle. Hunter can't get it down. And Riley Wagner will connect. So Hawaii's got its biggest lead of six. You know, they're in that rotation that I mentioned a lot last night. And uh, yep. I like the decision here to spread this rotation and give Hawaii a different look. Well, we were tied at 13. Hawaii is on an 8-2 run here out on the left. William Miller scores. Paige Sense is back on the court. And actually, we were tied at 15, for that matter, right after the media timeout. So Hawaii was on a 6-0 run prior to that point. Still in the driver's seat here in the first set. Paige Sense has to serve. 33 aces, the lead, the Matadors. Great serve. And uh, maybe even a better reception there for Wagner. Ball sent over Gershing. Barron will set it. Front row Starkey trickles across the court off two blockers. Kept alive Alexander. Gershing again down the middle. That's an overpass popped up by Alexander. Run the middle. Evans scores. Nico, great timing on that block. Just needs to stay out of that a little bit on that one. Great serve from Paige there. Wide starting middles are seven for 11 without an error. And timeout, CSUN, their second and final timeout. 22 to 16, Hawaii. Set one, ESPN Plus. its biggest lead tonight of six points, 22 to 16. Darren and Ryan with you. Won't be with you again until three weeks from tonight. Next match at Long Beach State a week from tonight and then at UC San Diego a week from tomorrow. Hawaii is at Cal State Bakersfield tomorrow night. Riley Wagner at the service line. Aaron pass from Starkey taking Sentis way back there. Results in a free ball. Hawaii looking for a seven point lead. Lang to Evans. And the Hawaii Middles are now eight for an errorless 12 collectively. Right now, Hawaii is winning the serve and pass game. CSUN is not able to keep this ball in system. Hawaii is getting free balls back, and that's just too easy for a very talented Wahine team. 23 to 16, Wagner serving. 8-1, Hawaii run. Barron chased down a pass out to the left. Starkey back in it, and that is a block. Evans and Pershing might get an assist. Uh, Paula Gershing. A couple of blocks in this first set for Hawaii now. 24 to 16. 9-1 run. 
Wagner serves Starkey. Barron popping up out on the right. Leah Miller over the wall. And Matadors stay alive and set one a little longer. Tatiana Turgeon returns to the front. Kelsey Knudsen at the service line. Got 11 aces on the air for Knudsen. BYU transfer puts it in play. They run Evans, and that's a kill. Off of Newton, but couldn't get that pass to the front in time. And right after the media timeout, Ryan, all Hawaii was 15-all, and they score 10 of the final 12. Yeah, CSUN, you know, has to play better ball. We talked about the two two big guns, Perry and Leah. Perry needs to step a little step up a little bit more. And someone else for CSUN has to step up and get kills. All right, so it's on to set two. We'll bring you some updated numbers on the other side of the break. One set to none, Hawaii on ESPN+. Plus. We are in between sets one and two at Premier America Credit Union Arena. First half, Matadors just about even with the Rainbow Ahini. In fact, we were tied at 15 right after the media timeout. Hawaii goes on a 6-0 run. Never caught after that. Ended up on a 10-2 run to win it, 25-17. And the Matador is held to 057 in that first set. Not going to get it done. That's not going to get it done versus a very talented team in Hawaii. You know, right now, like I said, they are winning the serve and pass matchup. After that media timeout, CSUN's passing broke down in a big way. And they weren't able to keep, you know, their pin attackers in system a little better. And as far as Hawaii, they are just feeding their middles and they are going off right now. CSUN's got to figure out a way to slow them down. Math hit uh, 316 in the first set. Hawaii did. About 80 points better than what they normally do on average. And uh, wow, did their middles come up big in that first set. Evans was six for an airless nine, and Igidi was three for an airless four. And uh, Gershing on the outside out here on the left had six kills. The two teams swap sides. Wagner puts it in play. Sent us to Miller on the right, and that's a Hawaii block. So Hawaii now has blocked three balls. And that's how the first point starts in set two. Hawaii is just too good of a blocking team to get a double block set up. CSUN needs to push these, ball, these passes to the net. So give Miller an error, give Alexander and Evans a block assist, a piece. Right side Miller again, this time off the fingertips, a soft block covered by Wagner, back row. Evans in the middle, pancake up by Barron. Miller again, it's gonna trickle in there behind the wall, got those fingertips. and. Ended up uh, dropping right in front of the 10-foot line, 1-1. One, one. Great touch from Nico Thomas there to slow down the Hawaii attack. Uh, right behind the 10-foot line, I should have said. And back to serve is the libero, Kelsey Newton. Ball taken by Gershing in the middle, Evans. That's a yeah, quick offense. Kate Lang, very fast team. Too easy for Hawaii right yeah. now. They're passing great. Shout out to CSUN alumni Kaleo Baxter, <laughs> associate coach for Hawaii. He is their passing coach. They're doing a great job. 2011 graduate here of CSUN. Fun fact about Kaleo, he loves CrossFit. And Tatiana Turgeon gets the kill in the middle. Two to two. And he's helped this Hawaii team to three straight Big West titles, uh, 2019, along with 21 and 22. This team has been to the NC2A tournament every year under Robin Amo. In fact, 29 straight and 40 appearances all time, if you can believe that, for this Hawaii team. Nice dig in front of us here, Starkey, cross court. All dug up. Almost through the wall there, Gershing. Front row turns around. Another shot by Starkey. Beautiful up by Riley Wagner. Gershing. Kept alive there. Second touch sense as free ball. Alexander gets it to Lang in the middle. Run Amber IGD and she scores. Our All American finishes another long point. She's four for five and Hawaii is up three to two. Great hustle play from CSUN there, but they need to capitalize on opportunities early. If the rally goes longer, it only favors Hawaii. Alexander serving down the line to Starkey. That's an overpass popped up by Gershing. Lang backside inside of 10. Alexander dug by Kaya Kanan. Newtson sets it up. Starkey puts it away. 
Coach Robin for Hawaii not happy with Hawaii's front row on that one. They need to attack that overpass. Just her second kill on 12 swings for someone who is the hottest player in the building. Most of last night, Perry Starkey, a career night. A slow start tonight, just her second. And it's three to three. That's an ace off of Ikanaga in the back row. And we have an early lead change in set two. Four to three on a Perry Starkey ace. 23 aces on the air for Starkey. That is the second most on CSUN. Second ace tonight for the Matadors. Stands deep and that is gonna hit Taylor Hunter in the back. And nothing too surprising, I hate to say it. I mean, she stands so deep, we've seen that before where the balls sometimes barely get even to the net and that time it didn't even reach the net. You know, as the season goes on, as you accumulate more and more swings, your shoulder gets a little tired, so she might want to consider stepping up just a little bit on that. Kaya Cannon, left side, Hunter denied. Matadors will run it again. We're tied at four now. Hunter on the left did not get a swing. Popped up, two ball laying. And the Matadors leave an open middle for the Hawaii setter, who gets her first kill tonight with 17 assists and three digs, 5-4. We talked about Taylor Hunter transitioning to the outside. On that one, she was really early on the out of system set. She needs to wait and explode. Paula Gershing down the middle to Starkey. Kaya Cannon runs over. Left side, Hunter nearly stuffed. Covered nicely by Starkey. Baird on the right. Through two blockers. Kept alive by Lang. Wagner on the left. It hits the antenna. And that's a Matador. Points to tie it at five. CSUN's attackers right now has to be very weary of where Amber's out on the court. They're trying to swing right at her. They need to go down the line side edge or go sharp angle. Tatiana Turgeon, the redshirt freshman from Las Vegas, coming up. And serves back row to Gershing, Lang to IGD. Virtually automatic when they run that. Nico Thomas there got pressed early, but she just went straight over. Amber's too talented of a hitter to go straight over. She needs to make a move into that crossbody or hard angle. It's coming in, as usual, just insane numbers all the way around the court. Amber Igidi, four-time Offensive Player of the Week this year in the Big West. Player of the Year last year, Hunter cross court ball, Doug. Wagner, little tip floater that goes over, and let's see, the flag is up across the way. The line judge had that call. It's Hawaii's point. John Price wants to know why. The dig went into the net outside of the antenna. That, that's, that's an out ball. Amber serving a great ball and digging a great hard swing from Taylor Hunter there. Uh, he's not going for the yellow card, but I think JP is trying to slow the place, pace of play a little bit for yep. CSUN. All right, so JP will have a seat again. Seven to five, Hawaii. Let's take another look. Yeah, a little tip. And, yeah, that's a good call, that third touch right back into the pin. And here's Igidi, 6'3", senior middle, puts it in play. Kanan, and that is CSUN's point. A uh, Kennedy Evans came over that time. Yeah, that was a great sell from Kaya there. She went up with two hands, understood that she's not really going to touch that ball, but, you know, Hawaii with a rare mistake at the net. Six serving, seven. The first thing that Evans has done wrong tonight. Barron, that's a great serve. That's a great serve. Nice, sharp, flat serve going almost inside out across the way. Eats up the Hawaii back row. Like you said, that had a lot of pace on it. It was nice and flat, tight to the tape. Those are the types of serves that Hawaii's had str uh, struggled with all year. 21 aces this year for Carissa Barron now. Junior out of Bakersfield, puts it down the middle, and Lang, another two ball with that peripheral vision. Such a beautiful shot when the setter gets that two ball kill. Saw Kaya do that last night. Very creative dump there. She got pushed over to zone two, put that back into the campfire. That's a very smart decision there from Kate. And Lang, a short floater, running up there. Knutson with the reception, ball tipped by Miller. Alexander keeps it alive, but Nico Thomas, an opportunity. Not yet, Wagner on the left, works it off the wall. 
Not an easy shot there. Matadors had two blockers up, and Riley Wagner gets her best swing of the night. Yeah, I'd like to see Nico there go up with two hands again and dunk that ball down. Laying to serve. 22 assists, four digs, and a kill to her evening. Overpass. Hawaii's got it with a two-point lead. Wagner again puts it away. So now Riley Wagner starting to heat it up a little with back-to-back -back kills. She's got five on the night, along with six digs, half of those on the very first point of the night. Lang still serving. 10-7 UH. Short floater to Nico Thomas, out to the left pin, cross court. Ganago with the dig in a white libero jersey. Gershing, ball dug in the back row by Barron. Hunter, off two, picked up front row by Thomas. Miller, denied, and second ball is going way behind the front row, not gonna play it. Hawaii's got an 11-7 lead, and already the Matadors in set two, a little bit of a danger zone. Yeah, this is the point in time where CSUN needs to side out. Once again, this row one has caused a lot of problems for, for CSUN. They need to man a side out. Maybe a club dump here from Carissa. Lang still serving. Ball taken by Knudsen. Barron will chase that one down. Got a 10-footer for Hunter. UH front row goes to work, and that is a Matador point because of a lift call. I thought that was a good call. I thought she held on to that a little long. A rare mistake from Kate there. Bailing out CSUN after that uh, very errant serve reception. Wyatt scored the previous three. And CSUN now down three. Paige sends us all the way down to our right. That one is out of bounds. Paige can't do that. She's yep. got to put that first one in. She's got a very talented serve. She needs to mix up her zones a little bit, mix up her depth. But that first ball has got to go in for Paige. 12 to eight. Wagner to serve. And that ball is in, might be an ace off the chest of Stark. He can't make the pass. And Riley Wagner serves the first Hawaii ace tonight. And the Rainbow, War uh, Rainbow Wahine, excuse me, get a five point lead, their biggest of the set. A little bit of separation now in set two. Legendary season alumni, Chris McGee just walked in, Geeter. Overpass, Lang's got it. Chance to go up by six for UH with Alexander off the tape. It trickles out of bounds, and CSUN pulls to within 13-9. You know, one of the things that Perry did so well last night was pass the ball. She was very talented in that first ball. She needs to kind of pick that up a little bit. She's getting attacked right now from Hawaii. Kelsey Knutson. Short serve to Evans. Right side, Alexander, and works it off a of Turgeon. Ball changes direction there, and Hawaii's got a five-point lead back, 14 to nine. Now UC Irvine won that first set over UCSB, 25-19. It's 13 all in the second. Gaucho's unbeaten atop the Big West standings. Turgeon, ball tip back to the Matadors, and a miscommunication. Starkey, though, will bail them out. Wow. I got it, you take a situation, but Starkey ends up bailing them out. Right. You know, you want to see Carissa talk a little bit more, talk to Kelsey on that, but heck of a play from, from Perry to get her feet there and then put that ball in the deep corner. Cal State Fullerton won the first set at home over Cal Poly, 25-23. Most things came back but fell short. In that first frame, Titans without a win in the conference, and there's an ace. So down to a three-point game here, 14-11 to with uh, Kaya Kanan. Serving her second ace of the night. And take another look and ball drops behind the 10 foot line. 14 11, two aces for Kanan. Almost got a third one there. Lang turned around off the tape. Left side, a swing for Gershing. Can't get it down. IGD off a touch. Cover Knutson. Here come the Matadors. And a big Hawaii block against Starkey. IGD and Alexander. That brings us to a media timeout at 15-11 after the Matadors had a little bit of momentum. Hawaii ups its lead back to four. UH, one set to none and 15-11 in the seconds on ESP. Hawaii 15-11 in set two. They won the first. And uh, the Matadors winning the aces four to one, but 
and you hit 054 for the match so far, that's probably not going to bode well. Not going to cut it. In the game of scoring points, you got to score points a lot faster. Alexander out of the timeout to our left. Left to right, ball taken. Kanan out the left pin, cross court. Barron, Ikanaga with the dig, 10 footer. Off of Gershing, ball popped up on the right side. A swing by Starkey denied. Kaya Kanan tossed it out to Barron. Hawaii picks up on it. Gershing cross court, and that's going to be a kill on a very sharp angle. Heck of a play by Gershing there. She got that off blocker, then transitioned from the outside to the right side to get a swing on that and get a sharp, sharp angle kill. 16, serving 11. Alexander still serving. Alexander, four digs and three blocks so far tonight. Left side, Barron off the wall, and Carissa Barron gets a kill. Four for an airless 10 to go with uh, seven digs and five assists. Triple double machine that she is. Four of them this year, 10 to her name all time. Came one kill away, from getting one last night. But uh, Matadors, I think you and I both thought that's as good as we've seen them in 23 with that important win last night, service error. Yeah, Perry struggles from the line continue from last night, but it was a very clean match last night from CSUN. They're going to need to try and dial that in as best they can right now. All right, Starkey out, and Layla Cedarlin coming in for some defense. And maybe get a pass here and see if uh, Gershing serves her. They do. Well, so much for that theory. Off her hands and onto the scores table across the way for a Hawaii ace, 18-12. CSUN men's volleyball assistant coach Mike Aroni would have gotten really mad about that one. She needs to get prepared a lot earlier to pass that ball. Try it again. This time she passes up front to Kaya Kanan. Run Turgeon off her fingertips. Left side Wagner over the wall. Doug Kanan. Matadors have it out on the right. Barron softly nearly stuffed, but a pickup by Turgeon. Barron again, cross court. Should be a kill. Look out. Stay there. Gershing cutting into our table. and. A kill for CSUN to bring it to 18-13. Good hustle there from Hawaii, but a great kill from Carissa going sharp angle. You know, CSUN's going to have to keep on figuring out sharp angle shots and going off the line blocker to, to manifest kills. Turgeon serving. Barron stays errorless. 5 for 12, 417. That is out of bounds. 19-13, that's about the last thing you need. You know, CISA might be winning in aces, but they are not winning the serve and pass battle. Hawaii's putting a lot more balls in, keeping a lot more pressure on CSUN's passers. Hawaii back up six. They won the first set, 25-17. IGD floats one to Cedarland, back line. Thomas, Hunter cross court, Doug IGD. UH on the move, Wagner on the left, and blocked. Carissa Barron and Nico Thomas. Nico's got a big block. That's why she's in there right now. Way to capitalize, Nico. And uh, the Matadors had been sitting with just a couple of blocks. Um, get a big one here to hold it within five again. Left side, Wagner. Three blockers up there, and she got those high fingertips. Riley Wagner making the adjustment there, not going as low. Went High off the hands with the uh, CSUN rare triple. Kate Lang to serve, the Hawaii setter, leading her offense to a 286 clip so far. Kate Lang, ball in play. Barron backside, Hunter cross court. On the right, Hunter brings it to 2015, but again, the Matadors are going to have to string together some, some uh, tough service points. Right, and starts with this uh, first serve from Paige Santos. CSUN's best server. She could definitely push some points here. I'd like to see CSUN get to around 2018, maybe 2019 before, before they give up this ball. 33 aces to lead CSUN this year. The freshman puts it in play. In fact, better than that, it turns out to be an ace for the 34th time for the freshman. Great first ball there, attacking. Attacking Hawaii's outside. I want to see her do that again. Four aces. Make it five now on the night for CSUN. And Hawaii quick to get out of that rotation of Kennedy Evans. 
Right now, Hawaii's Mills are doing a good job. They're going against their body line. So if they're approaching that zone five, they're cross body down to one. Nico Thomas got to figure that out and take that away. They're now 14 for 21 with one error. The Hawaii Middles total. Wagner, ball taken on the back. Bear into Thomas. That's going in the net. 22 to 16. Great pass, not a great set execution from Chris there. She's got to get that higher for Nico. Nico's a high jumper. Yep. Had her second career kill last night. And we are going to break at 22-16 Hawaii in set two on ESPN+. Plus. Hawaii back up by six. They won the first set by eight. 22-16 to 16 with Riley Wagner to serve out of the timeout. Wagner with six kills and six digs to her evening. And Wagner puts it in play to Starkey. Get it front row. Barron back to Starkey out of the timeout. Harry Starkey knocks it down. That is a great set by Barron. Great set by Barron. Great decision there. I love her rewarding Perry with a great pass. You know, outside hitters, they have a tendency to like that kind of reward system. You know, when you get a nice pass, you want to give them a nice nice set, and uh, Perry took advantage of that. Knudsen serving. Matador still down a handful here, late in set two. Lang in the middle to Evans. No answers at all for the Hawaii Middles. 23-17. That's just too easy. I know Kelsey has a great short serve, but if we're gonna short serve, short serve the middle. Don't short serve the opposite, who hasn't really done anything offensively. Short serve the middle, who's been crushing season. Ikanaga to serve. Hawaii's libero down the middle. Barron will toss it up towards that right pin, and Leah Miller is going out of bounds. And, well, might have our first challenge of the night for either team. John Price going to challenge I like the whether challenge or not there here. was a touch. Yeah, I like the challenge here. It kind of looked like there was a touch from my, my angle, very slight. You know, obviously, we've had our woes with the challenge system, but uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Last night was the most interesting night of the CRS in my life. Right. And I, we, you and I both, and we talked to others before the match tonight, couldn't figure out what was going on across the way. Three things that were incredibly obvious on our monitor, the same monitor being used across the way, and we guessed wrong every time, but it was just so obvious, and we just didn't know why that was. It so. Was it was a very strange night. Yeah. You know, I, I went yeah. back on volumetrics today to rewatch those plays. They were obvious from that from that camera angle, and obviously the down refs have more camera angles than the one we saw on volumetrics, the one the ones even we saw last night. Let's go ahead and watch this, watch this play, see if we can see a touch here. There's Ikanaga serving and got the pass. Leah Miller, the, the, the uh, question is whether or not there was a touch. He didn't challenge the in or out. It's a touch yeah. challenge, and I did not see anything definitive there. I did not see any definitive on that camera angle. Once again, the down, down ref has a different view than us. Let's go ahead and slow this down. Nice frame-by-frame -frame work from our CSUN production team. Uh, oh. Maybe not. Need to see a couple more frames on that yeah. one, but that's all right. Oh, well, we did see the first quick. one. I certainly didn't see it. No, the verdict is in. Right, quick decision here. Oh, that looked pretty close. Nope. Call stands. Still a good challenge there from CSUN. You know, you got to fight to get a point there. I All like right, how, so I like how quick that challenge went, though. Yep. Great uh, yes, job. absolutely. That was not the case last night. Yeah. A lot of confusion over there last night. Ikanaga serving. Hawaii's got a whole bunch of set points lined up. Front court, Barron. Out to the left pin it goes. Starkey, the ball's blocked back into the pin. And CSUN stays alive here in set two. Kaya Kanan back on the court. Got two aces tonight. Let's see if... Uh, Keep it up. Hawaii's server chef been making an adjustment. They're, they've sco scooted up a little bit. Want to see Kaya push this ball to, to the back line. And Kanan serves Alexander. Bump it high in the sky. Laying out to the left for Gershing. Off the wall and covered by Sentis. Barron on the right. She scores. Carissa Barron. 
six for an airless 13. They go with eight assists and seven digs. Robin Amo off the bench, directing some traffic. Hawaii still obviously in great shape with a 24-19 lead. Kanan, ball taken, Ikanaga, front row laying this for the set and leave it to who else? The All-American and reigning Big West Player of the Year, Amber Igidi. And set one and set two are both in the books, 17 and 19. The two closest sets, Cecil has played against them all year, but still uh, five sets that really have not been close. Right. Seems like Hawaii's kind of just playing with their food right now, wants to see Sun step up. You know, let's go ahead and try this reverse sweep thing, see, see how this works. All right, we'll step aside with Hawaii up two sets to none. All right, we are in between set two and three with the University of Hawaii leading two sets to none, 25-17 and 25-19. Hawaii has really not been threatened. The Matadors uh, very tight in the first half of set one. A little bit still the case in set two, but once you got past that media timeout, Hawaii took charge both times. You know, great teams know how to close games, and Hawaii is definitely one of those great teams in the Big West right now. Playing real well. CSUN's got to figure out how to get some kills here. Let's talk about some stats. Starting with Hawaii's middles, you got Amber Aguide hitting 750 right now, six kills, no errors on eight swings. And then Evans, 10 kills, one error on 15 swings, hitting 600. They are automatic right now. CSUN's middles has to do a better job of jumping, playing a little cat and mouse, jumping into hard angle, jumping into uh, thumb down shots. You know, kind of makes you up a little bit. Whereas the big guns for, for CSUN are not quite doing well. You know, Leah Miller, who had a career night last night, played awesome, but tonight she is four kills, four errors on 17 total attempts. That is hitting zero. That is not what you want to see. Along with Paige Starkey, or sorry, Perry Starkey, hitting with five kills, five errors, 17 total attempts, hitting zero. They need to step up if they're going to do well, but Chris Barron kind of holding low a little bit. Six kills, no errors on 13 swings, hitting 462. Find her a lot more in transition, get her the ball. And hopefully, you know, CSUN kind of turn this around a little bit. It starts with one point at a time. A nice hot start would be would be awesome to get this crowd going. There's a very active crowd here for CSUN. Good hot start. Maybe a big block from, from Nico Thomas. You know, get the momentum on their side. Matador is getting out hit through two sets and badly 313 to 100. And Hawaii took over the block there in the second set, leading the overall blocking 5-3. to three. The Aces favoring CSUN 5-2, to two, but it's just not translating into uh, points all the time with uh, the tough serving and just hitting 100. So, You know, what's happening right now is they might be getting that first ace on that first serve, but Hawaii makes a good adjustment and then dimes the next pass, finding their middles. CSUN's got to mix it up. They can't just serve the same person more than once. they got to mix it up. If they serve zone 5, go to, go to zone 1 next. Go short. Mix it up in that regard and hopefully they can push them push some points that way yeah, and as you pointed out both miller and starkey career nights last night hitting well over 400 both of them and uh, they're both hitting zeros through two sets tonight carissa Barron, six kills no errors 462 eight assists seven digs so another opportunity for a triple double almost got her 11th in her career last night one kill from it away we go set three matadors back to the original bench a short stir serve a little collision on the uh side they still get a kill from alexander gershing and evans near this antenna that was a great serve location they actually yeah. got the ball to the middle taking her out of the play but a great set from kate able to push that ball all the way back to the pin and an easy kill for hawaii Ikanaga serving, ball down the middle to Sentis. Run Turgeon off a block, covered by Lang. Hawaii on the move, Alexander. First over on two there by Lang. Again, Miller, and a Hawaii block is going out of bounds, so it's a CSUN point. Ball, great swing from Leah there, going high off hands. CSUN's got to start entertaining, not setting the middles when Amber's up front. She is too big, too physical up there. She's slowing down our CSUN middle attack. Kaya Kanan serving. 1-1 one, one in the third. Ikanaga pass it up the middle to Lang. Run the middle to Amber Igidi. Seven for an errorless nine. 
making the Hawaii middle 17 for 24 with one error. That would be 667. You know, that was a great lineup from Tatiana. Amber just went over her. She was just, you know, higher. Can't do anything about that. Kanan, backside, Starkey. Alexander pops it up. Overshooting, Igedi is laying over Schotter on that set. Honestly, I thought that dig was too perfect for Kate. That was an amazing dig from right back there. You know, usually the setter has to move into that ball. I think she would have located Amber if she had to move a little bit, but that was really right on top of Kate's head. That was an awesome dig. You see Santa Barbara holds off UC Irvine in the second set. One set apiece there, 25-23, but the Gauchos, two sets, not finding things easy down in Orange County. Set two done on the other side of Orange County. Cal Poly 25-14, so that's one set apiece. If the Matadors don't win this, and right now they're down two sets, they'll fall a half a match back of UC Riverside again. Hunter goes off for the pin. And that's a Hawaii point, four to two. I thought that was a great set from Carissa there, I think, or sorry, from Kaya there. Taylor Hunter's just gotta go off the line side blocks of the antenna. Gershing serving. Well taken by Newton in the back. Barron on the right, cross court, right in the tracks of Gershing. Wow, hard swing Alexander. That's dug up, Lang, Alexander this time a tip, pop back over. Left side, tip Wagner, good enough for the kill. Ball hung up there a while on the tip, and you know, someone's got to be there a little quicker. Kaya's got to get there, move her feet a little bit longer, stay on her feet, get underneath that ball. I think she had more time than she thought. Gershing serves, could be an ace, it is. Off that second touch and out of bounds. Hawaii this time on a quick start to the third set. 6-2, to two. John Price, does he call an early one? He's off the bench. I would entertain an early timeout here if you don't get this point. 6-2 to two is the score. Gershing down the sideline to Perry Stark, uh, Starkey, left side. Hunter, that's Doug. Lane to Igedi. 7-2, timeout, John Price. It's just too easy right now for Hawaii's middles. They have all the options. You know, CSUN's Middles has to do a better job playing cat and mouse. Step aside, 7-2 Hawaii in the third. It is stress-free right now and for much of the night for the University of Hawaii. Up two sets, holding CSUN to under 20 both times and up 7-2. Quick start for them in the third and their middles have more than half of their kills. Their two leading attackers, in fact, are in the middle. To Evans and IGD, there's Turgeon and that's going out of, well, let's see, a touch. Turgeon got a touch. Good call there from, from the uh, line judge. You know, credit to Sturgeon for getting up early, finding hands and going off him. Turgeon will serve. Scoring out of the timeout. Three serving seven. Ikanaga, Lang chases it down. Joust and one by Wagner. What a very uh, vet play from Wagner there. Just hold, didn't press early. Chris pressed. Typically the second press wins, and uh, Riley was able to put that back down on CSUN side. Wagner's got eight kills. She's gotten better and better with her hitting as the night has gone on. Also six digs and an ace. And almost another ace here. Hunter's third ball, and that gets a touch. Good for a kill. Not exactly how they drew it up with <laughs> those low passes and second. Low touch, but going with that speed offense. Fast pass, fast set, and then fast swing. Eight to four. And Carissa Barron's at the back line. Ball in play for Alexander. Front row Lang out to the right. Gershing splits the back row of Barron and Starkey and nails it. Paula Gershing, eight for 22 with one error. Got eight kills, eight digs, two blocks. Lang the serve. Knudsen runs up there. Barron out to the left. A swing down the line. That is up by Lang. Gershing straight away. Dug by Starkey. Little skip shot into the antenna goes Hunter. And Hawaii continues to up its lead. You know, 10 to 4. 
just seems like CSUN, you know, we had such a clean match from them yesterday. It seems like all those errors are happening right now. All those miscommunication plays, you know, they got to clean up their side if they have any chance of catching up. And Hawaii, of course, has a lot to do with that. And they oh, run a, sure. and they face a team that's just been so remarkable, not only this year, but all these Historically, years. Yeah. yeah. Historically, they've just kind of been running the Big West for the past couple of years. I know they dropped two matches this this Big West season, but they are still very capable of winning that Big West tournament. And they got swept at Long Beach State, lost in five at UC Santa Barbara. Those are their two conference losses. Left side, Alexander. And the Matadors get a block. Nico Thomas and Leah Miller. Thomas, her third block tonight. Started with the serve there. Great serve from Paige. Got him out of system a little bit. Not able to find the middles for Hawaii. Paige census rotation, and that one is out of bounds. So she's missed some serves tonight. And yeah, you got you got to be aggressive with how well Hawaii is passing. But I think the way you stay aggressive is just changing zones, going from zone one, zone five, short, kind of mixing it up that way. Don't need to go fast, faster, and fastest with your serve. Wagner. Starkey takes Barron very wide. A little skip shot about a nine-footer from Starkey. Doug. Alexander on the left. Denied. Saved by Ikanaga. And into the wall and down for Gershing. Now the Matadors continue to get their hands up, but it's not exactly uh, resulting in points all the time. You know, if you're going to call a lift early yeah. on Kate Lang, who's one of the best setters in the Big West, I probably would have called a, a lift on that set. That was, that was a, little, a little chunky for me. So Hawaii gets its six-point lead, which they have had all night. This time to do it earlier than their first two sets in the first part of the set before the media timeout. Now 12-7. to seven. Turgeon back on. Thomas will get some high fives. She's uh, had a nice week out there blocking. Newton. Front row lane. Backside Alexander. No good. That one is coming wide and less. Oh, boy. They get some fingertips. Or into the net. I guess it might have been a net call. I didn't see a touch call, but that's really unfortunate for CSUN. Ooh. That ball was very mishit. And you almost dug that ball. Yes, absolutely. Dropped right in front of us right here. 13 to 7. Barron. Starkey roofed. The waterfall block there. Amber IGD and Gershing pairing up. That is uh, six blocks tonight for Hawaii to CSUN's four. Hawaii has doubled up the Matadors 14-7, naked 15-7 on a sideline ace. CSUN lets it just drop down. You know, everything's going right now for Hawaii. You know, they're so physical at the night. You can just tell the difference between physicality between CSUN and Hawaii. Uh, Ikanaga gets the ace. That for the third time only this year. Alexander, a little tip. Free ball. Matadors having trouble running an offense. In the middle, IGD takes advantage. She goes the nine for an airless 12 as the Matadors go back below 100 on the night. You know, Kelsey does such a good job in transition setting, but that was a poor, poor decision. Leah had no... No approach on that ball. She's got to put that ball out to Starkey, give her a chance to kill that ball in transition. Nine-point advantage. Never more than this the entire night. Ikanaga serves. Left side, Starkey kept alive. Wagner bump it up. Cross court, Alexander gives Hawaii a double-digit lead, 17-7 to seven in set three. You just see, like, the calmness of Hawaii. Yeah. You know, they're playing very confidently, yep. and... You know, CSUN's play, playing very erratic. You know, that's that's definitely a big difference maker. Hawaii is hitting 361 tonight as a team. Barron bump it up, off balance, angle, Starkey off a touch and manages to get it down. That's as angry as we've seen Robin Amo in quite a while. And she was off balance, awkward shot there, and she feels like probably her team could have picked that up. 17-8. You know. Credit Coach Robin, man. She coaches her heart out every single game. Yeah. You know, obviously they're up by up by nine in that situation, but everything's always a coachable moment for that team. You know, they have high aspirations to, you know, do well in the NCAA tournament. They very they very well can. So these are the 
moments in time for Coach Robin to keep pushing her, her team and get ready for, for that tournament. Kaya Keenan serving. She's got two aces tonight out of five total for CSUN. Ikanaga get it right to the middle. Lang, Gershang in the middle, bumped up. Reaching out there is Starkey. Barron over the wall and drops it in. Carissa Barron on the right side. And she's got a seven for an airless 15 night, 467. So she's three kills and two digs for a potential 11th career triple-double. Question is, can she get there with time starting to run very thin on the Matador evening? And CSUN is going to win this point. Hawaii can't play it. 17-10, three in a row. Kaya doing a good job, mixing up her serve, short, deep, putting a lot of pressure right now. Bam Sun, any great pass, commit with that middle. Make someone else beat you right now. Kanan serves again, this one oh. is going out. 18 to 10, service air number eight tonight for CSUN. My bad Kaya, I gave you too much credit from your service line. Alexander to serve. Sophomore from Georgia, it is in play, but the pass is going right behind the up ref. Not going to get it done, 19 to 10. Sid Church had a better chance at that ball. Looks like Coach, uh, Coach Robinson in. Get some uh, new faces in there for Hawaii. It's going to be Jackie Matias coming in to serve. Got one ace on the season. Also, Kendra Hamm on the court. Six foot senior hitter out of San Diego, a Cal Poly transfer. Matias, a redshirt freshman, homegrown out of Honolulu. 19 10 Hawaii. Barron inside of 10, over the wall, dug back row. Matias will set. Out to the left it goes. Newtson an overpass. Matias back set. And scoring will be Hamm. On her first swing off the bench, she gets a kill. It is 20 to 10, and a second and final timeout called by John Price. And we are going to break. Hawaii five points from a sweep on the road on ESPN Plus. Of the Knights, they're up two sets and up 20 to 10 in the third. A decisive hitting advantage, 360 to 116, and Hawaii's middles are still hitting 667 on the night. 19 for 27 with one air. Ball bumped up, little skip shot Barron. High off the wall, Ikanaga with the cover. Out to the left it goes, Gershing. Dug straight away for Knudsen. Avoiding the net there was Kaya Kanan. Hawaii's got it. Matias left side and Ham off the block and down it goes. Ham off the bench, two for two. 21 to 10 for their biggest lead tonight. And it seems like Hawaii is not skipping a beat, getting some new faces in. You know, credit to Hawaii. It's a great recruiting, recruiting job by Kaleo and coaches. That's an ace, 22 to 10. And that is ace number six for UH. This one served off the bench by Matias. Just her second in her career. Redshirt freshman. They are three points away. Newton chased down by Kaya Kanan. Barron in front of the 10 foot line cross court. Can't get it down. Matias Wagner dug up by Newton. Backside Starkey, and that will go down this time. Perry Starkey now above zeros. It's been a zeros night for her and Miller, but gets her seventh kill there. Great step from Kaya there. Got squared up, finished towards the net. Credit to Perry for getting up high on that one, swinging high and deep. Ikanaga, front court, Matias, a middle assist to Amber Igidi, who goes to 10 for an arrow is 13. Both middles now for UH with 10 kills as the double digit players, and yet they're still very balanced. They got uh, Gershon with nine kills, Wagner with eight. Wagner and Gershing are both going to leave now. Robin Amo goes to the bench. And Talia Edmonds will be the server. Also out there will be Tali Hawkes, freshman hitter. 
from Israel. It's actually formerly in their in the Israeli army. 23 to 11. Front row, Kaya Kanan. Right side, Barron. That goes into the antenna. And Hawaii has a whole bunch of match points lined up 24 to 11. We'd love to see Tali get in there. You know, she's good friends with our, our Israeli Nir Aitin on the CSUN men's volleyball team. So I know Nir is stoked for Tali. Edmund serving, letting that one go and just long, 24 to 12. And if Hawaii wins this next point, this will be a quicker match than actually the one played in Honolulu, in which was 12, 13, and 14 that night. And twice, Matadors tonight made it to the late teens, 17 and 19, and that'll do it. We have and to summarize that match for yep, CSUN. 75 minutes, and Hawaii gets a stress-free straight set victory tonight to pull to within a match and a half of UC Santa Barbara, of course, pending their outcome tonight down at UC Irvine. Well, um, I guess as the saying goes, learn from it, forget it after tonight because you got four big road matches coming up. Right, we talked about last night, you know, CSUN still has everything in front of them. They still can claw and fight their way into the Big West tournament as a six seed. You know, we, we kind of had a feeling that this one was going to go the way it did, and, uh, you know, hopefully CSUN can respond and have, get some road wins. Get you some numbers before we say goodnight. Uh, too much Hawaii hitting, particularly in the middle. They hit 367 on the night. That is well over 100 points better than what they normally do, and their middles were just fantastic. Evans, 10 kills at 600. IGD, 10 for 13 without an error. She was errorless against the Matadors the first time, 13 for 18. Tonight she hit 769, and again 367 is 18. They serve six aces and block six balls. For the Matadors, uh, tail of two matches between last night and tonight, just hit 111. So Hawaii holds their 13th straight opponent to 200 or less all in the conference. And it was Carissa Barron with seven kills at 316, 10 assists, and eight digs. Uh, Starkey had seven kills, but just hit 043. The Matadors managed to serve five aces and block four balls. All right, so we're not going to talk again until three weeks from tonight. And that'll be against UC Irvine. Matadors on the road for four straight starting next Friday night down at Long Beach State and then UC San Diego. So Jason, this is Darren Preston. Ryan, great job. We'll see you in three weeks. See you in three weeks.